Welcome to my channel. Right now, I am here with Mika. Hi, guys. And we are here at In the National Museum of, of Qatar. Qatar. And we're about to visit the Hermes Heritage exhibit. And we're just spending the last day, day of Mikaela. Yes, because she's going, going back, back to, to Oman. Oman. Yes, she's going back. So, um, this Miss Hermes girl. Yeah. Yes. Let's try to find out. Yes. And she's excited, so let's go. Bye. Let's Hello. go, green team. <laughs> Hi. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is another lifestyle content in Doha. I had the chance to visit the Hermes Heritage exhibit in the National Museum of Qatar early this June with my baby girl, Mika. Have you ever wondered one of the world's most valuable luxury brand is? Hermes it is. It is a fashion house tapped in history and tradition. Family owned for five generations and founded by Thierry Hermes, who opened the first workshop in 1837 in Paris, the label is a symbol of class worldwide. Why Hermes is considered pricey? First of all, the products are handmade and its exquisite craftsmanship, especially what they are best known, they are handbags, that's why these goods has always been considered an art form. specializes in leather apparel and lifestyle accessories such as homeware, clothes and accessories, scarves and cravats. Part of the reason for the high prices of the bags, 
For example, the Birkin in particular is that the supply is restricted to special or VIP clients, resulting in wait lists that can be as long as 2 to 6 years. With a supply much less than the demand, it is only natural that this fuels the price growth. The Once Upon a Bag pop-up shares the brand's iconic history and explores the birth of each exclusive bag. It also showcased an important collection of conservative items dating from the 19th century to the present day. Hope you enjoyed the virtual exhibit as much as we did! Since we had an off day that we wanted to maximize, we decided to go and visit the new mall, or rather I can say, a newly opened palace mall called the Place Vendom in La Salle City.
Representing a total area of 1,150,000 square meters, this development will host two five-star luxury hotels, a mall featuring up to 580 different retail outlets, with an exclusive luxurious wing dedicated to top designer labels and a central entertainment component showcasing constant attractions. Most of them are not yet opened, but it's just so pleasing to see this multi-billion dollar mixed-use development in Qatar. This mall has a water canal running through the interior and exterior of the facility as well as dancing outdoor water fountains. Feels like I am in Europe with its open concept design and is inspired by classic French style architecture. Walking and looking at this wonderful newly built one of a kind and its spot to obsess over in Doha, you won't ever think of shopping. Oh, hello everyone! Hi. We are here at the Vendom Palace and it's my first this time. This is gonna be the last time that you will be here in this Vendom. new mall. It's actually a mall. Yes, it's inside. like a palace. Yes. So and we're I'm just the princess. <laughs> Where's um Prince? <laughs> okay, so um she's actually um sad. Yes, because I'm gonna go to Mascat now. What will you miss most I'm in Doha? I'm gonna miss the malls. I'm gonna miss the shop and the wonderful places. Yeah. Here. So yes, this is Mika, and watch out for her. <laughs> she is going to travel in Europe finally. Oh, yeah. And Manila. So I'm gonna be back, Manila. Thank you for the wonderful memories here, Nox. And we're gonna continue in Muscat, Muscat. 818. Yes. Princess. gonna do her own vlog too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do you like her to start um, vlogging? She's actually a TikToker, so Mika Paderna. <laughs> Mika Paderna, yes, she has a lot of... Follow my Instagram account. Ah, yes, I will. Mika Paderna as well. Exactly, and I will put 
her Instagram and TikTok in <laughs> here. <laughs> yes. So we're about to go home and I hope.